Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another reaction video. This time it's for The Sims 4 City Living Expansion Pack. Yeah, not a game pack, not a stuff pack. Finally, an expansion pack. Oh my gosh, never wait this long to announce an expansion pack ever again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, I was uh, at campus uh, all day today, so I was in class and I kept my Twitter notifications off because I really didn't want to spoil this trailer for me because I love filming my gut reactions to these trailers. So it's really uh, something that I want to continue doing. And yeah, nothing's really different from last time. I know Mimiko, he, he really looks like he's super keen on doing a nose duck, but that's the extent that I could get him to cooperate to. I don't know. <laughs> Even when I would make him lean back, he'd keep leaning forward, so. I think Mimiko might actually be more excited to see this trailer than I am. But, alright, let's get right into this trailer. Hold on, please please play Stop Desire, Prefer My Teeth Hair. Oh, before I start this, actually, um, I do want to thank, um, I can't remember who exactly it was, but somebody tweeted me the song when I uh, talked about the teaser because I was like, wow, this music's really good. But, uh, yeah, that's, like, my new favorite song right now. I gotta put it on my iPod still, but I will do it. Anyways, enough chitter-chatter. Let's actually get into this. Ooh, taxi. Pigeons in parks. Oh, there's the teaser scene. Oh, cool, a high-rise. So that's confirmed. Ooh, trains. Graffiti on the ground. Oh, there's, like, protests from the university. Oh, there's, like, the breakdancers. Oh, there's Harry Styles. Yay, basketball! <laughs> Ooh, so that's a cute uh, dog shirt. <laughs> Stop desire. Okay, there's, like, a keyboard. Oh, okay. okay, cool. They have the neighbors from the apartment life in The Sims 2. That looks pretty cool. Looks like it's a new drink. Oh, they have the bubble blower thingy from The Sims 2. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, nice. There's, like, the cultural festival place. There's Harry Styles again. Oh, that's just like The Sims 2 Seasons. So maybe they are replacing the seasonal festivals. That's kind of weird. Oh, is he, like... Is he, like, performing a comedy routine? I don't know. Oh, it's karaoke, I guess. I don't know. I can't really tell. Oh, and there's fireworks. And the... Um, the... Whatchamacallits. The firecrackers or whatever. From, uh... From Seasons 2. Find the perfect apartment. My roots neighbors... Experience life in the city. What? Why is there a raccoon? <laughs> wow, okay. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, well, Mimiko didn't fall off my shoulder, but... Yeah, that was, that was still a really interesting trailer, uh, nonetheless. So, I guess I'll do what I did in previous reaction videos. I'll just, like, kind of go through certain parts again and pause it or whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's start with the first scene here. Yeah, there's the map again that I saw in the teaser. This looks really cool, and then there's, like, a taxi driving by, right? Yeah, there's a taxi, that's cool. I'm assuming it's not one that Sims actually get into. It's probably just a core. It looks kind of like it is. The creative Sim items look really good. Oh, this is... Okay, yeah, this might actually be the city that we can see in the certain backdrops of Willow Creek and uh, Magnolia Promenade and uh, Newcrest. So it looks like there might be some continuity there, which is really cool. I love that little attention to detail. And yeah, this teaser scene already talked about that. Don't really need to go through that again. Okay, so we got, yeah, the high rise. Uh, it's like a penthouse thing. There's probably elevators. Hopefully there's elevators. I don't know how they do that without elevators, but we got an interesting, like, marketplace there with the trains going by. Oh, okay, so th I didn't quite catch it at first because it went by really fast, but the Sims are actually spraying the graffiti. That's really cool. Another thing returning uh, from a previous game this is from, like, the Sims 3 University Life. So there's more features than what was in the leaks. Thank goodness. I was kind of worried that was all there was, except for like maybe like, I don't know, some minor things here and there. But, well, I hope that's an actual skill like it was in The Sims 3 University Life. And maybe lots of designs do some like jet set radio in The Sims. <laughs> um, 
All right, let's go for so there's this there's like the street busker there. Well, that's a really cool fountain. There's the simp from the render in the foreground there. Okay, so that's probably the politician. That's probably politician in the career there. And then there's the protest. <laughs> yeah, then you got like the um, street performer, Harry Styles. So I guess it is just the basketball hoop again. It's not like a full on game, but okay, okay, that's fine. I wasn't expecting like a full on like court game. That like, that's more like something for a sports expansion pack, I suppose. But yeah, the basketball net is definitely one of my favorite objects in the series. So I'm really glad that it's uh, that it's back. And yeah, I already talked about how uh, how cute the clothing is, especially the dog shirt. I like that. I think I'll really like the Kratos some items in this pack. And it looks like there's power outages. Maybe random power outages in the apartments? It's just like... I don't know if that's... If it's actually like a thing that can randomly happen or if it was because that they didn't pay their bills. I have the impression here that it is kind of random. So that's interesting. So that's... I don't think they even happen in The Sims 2 Apartment Life. And... Wait a minute. They're holding controllers! Are we actually getting the video game console back? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! I almost didn't think we were gonna get it back, but it looks like they're holding controllers for an actual conventional video game console like the PS3 or the Xbox One. So, yeah. That's pretty darn cool. Finally. <laughs> that was really weird that it wasn't in the base game, but... Yeah, okay, so we got the keyboard player, the really cool hairstyle. We got more Sims talking and stuff and watching it. Some cultural hairstyles too, I notice. <laughs> okay. Looks like there's also the garbage chute, which is good. Uh, some, some of the furniture kind of reminds me of movie hangout stuff. It looks kind of bohemian. <laughs> Which is great, since there's definitely, like, the cultural stuff going on here. Oh, there's the... Okay, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, that's totally a turban. That's what I was trying to figure out in the teaser from yesterday. That guy was totally wearing a turban. That's awesome. Get some... Uh, uh, finally get some more diverse cultures in the game. Some that haven't really been re represented all that much uh, in the previous Sims games. Like, yeah, there was the India inspiration set from the Sims 3 store, but... It's really nice to see this in an expansion pack, too. <laughs> yeah, there's the view from one of the screenshots I saw last night. Yeah, these cultural festivals are probably going to be really interesting. It definitely reminds me of The Sims, too. But it would be a shame if the seasonal festivals never come back because of it. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what that is with the whole, like... Looks like you can either do comedy routines or sing or something. I don't know. The fireworks scene. Yeah, I got the sparklers. Yeah, this looks cool. Definitely looks cool. Experience life in the city. But I have a feeling Sim Guru Grant had something to do with that purple raccoon costume. It, it reminds me so much of the bear costume from uh, <laughs> Outdoor Retreat. And oh, I didn't even I didn't even mention the <laughs> release date. Available November first. Thank goodness it's not December, and thank goodness it's not um, not next year. There's actually someone in my comment section uh, saying like, oh, what if what if it's coming in 2017? And I'd be like, if they do that, I will be so upset. I'll, I would have been so upset if there was no expansion pack at all this year. <laughs> But thankfully, no. It's before. It's it's a good amount before exam time. But yeah, it's not October. Definitely begs the question as to what else we may be getting that quarter, since it's gonna be like smack dab right in the middle. Of, we're probably gonna get a stuff pack. I don't think we'll go through an entire quarter without a stuff pack, since they pump those out pretty fast. But yeah, I don't know. It's it it's it looks exciting, like. It looks better than Get Together, for sure. I will give it that much. And more exciting than Get to Work as well. But, I don't know. Like, I have a bit more faith in The Sims 4 than I did yesterday. But, I'm not like, I'm not fully like, oh my god, like, 
Faith in the Sims 4 super restored. Yay, it's gonna be a great game. No, like, I need a bit more convincing. Sorry, like, if they had put drivable cars in this expansion pack, well, maybe they did. I mean, it's still early to say. This is only the first trailer. Probably not, though. I, I highly doubt they'll pull out cars. But if they did put cars in this trailer, I'd, I'd probably be screaming. Like, literally screaming. Not even figuratively. Like, actually screaming. <laughs> but, yeah. And also, where are the vampires? No occult creatures from what I can see. I don't want this to become a thing where we never get occults and expansion packs. Because... If they try to cram every single occult into a supernatural expansion pack like The Sims 3, except even more, because we didn't get mermaids or genies or um, get mermaids, genies. We didn't get, what are the other ones? Mermaids, genies, um, mummies. Uh, wow, my, I can't think of it. Oh, plum bots and sim bots. Those ones we didn't get in a Supernatural expansion pack. We got those in their own expansions. And they were still, in my opinion, pulled off pretty well. The aliens in The Sims 3 Seasons might be, like, my favorite occult ever. Like, they were done really well in The Sims 3. And kind of disappointed how they were pulled off and get to work. But still, like... Oh, I don't know. And, I mean, I guess they could do some game packs for occults, but... I don't know. I don't know if occults are really enough to even be like a whole game pack by themselves either. And that'd be really predictable if every game pack from now on was like to put it in an occult. So I don't know. Even though I am okay right now with the game packs being mainly like focusing on getting out of the house. But it's just like, yeah, this is probably going to be my favorite expansion pack so far. But that's not saying a whole lot, in my opinion. There's cute furniture and clothing like I think overall I'll, it'll probably be my money's worth but I don't know it it looks good it looks borderline great but right now it does not amaze me it doesn't and I mean I still I totally stand by my opinion still even if this trailer had been really really like you know, knock my socks off i still would have been like yeah disappointed this is what we're getting instead of generations next i still think this should have been like the fourth or fifth expansion pack i totally could have waited a bit longer but that's just me uh but i think that's pretty much all i have to say for now i don't know if i'll do an info slash thoughts video that soon because i think i've pretty much covered what i would have said Anyways, unless the blog post has, like, some big information that's not really in the trailer, or if there's, like, other information from the gurus or something that they've tweeted out that I haven't seen yet. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to be repeating myself at this point if I keep talking. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, reaction. And, yeah, that's still interesting doing these reaction videos, even when I'm not jumping out of my seat or <laughs> rolling on the floor like, with the backyard stuff trailer. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. I'm look I'm still looking forward to seeing uh, what else is happening with this expansion pack. We're probably going to get a lot of information soon since the window between the announcement and release is pretty small. But yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. And have a great day. Thanks for watching, Mimiko. Say goodbye. <laughs> Yay, bye. <laughs>